What's going on, family? It's your main man, Mark Hell. I'm back with just a little bit more of my perspective. So y'all tune in, keep a lot right here. Let's get into it. First thing I want to address, the vices, right? Um, me, myself, I used to think I was addicted to pornography, uh, sexual immorality, uh, drinking. I never thought I was addicted to smoking. I just was doing it, you know, if, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. Uh, a whole lot of things, really, I thought I was addicted to. Um, and I heard a very, very interesting perspective. What you do, let's say you're in your room and an ISIS member comes in your room, right? And he has with you your best friend, whether that's your mother, your homie, your homegirl, whatever the case may be. They got your best friend, right? And they have a machete to their neck and they say, yo, if you continue to do what you're doing right now, I'm going to cut her head off right here, right now. And you next. You wouldn't do it. Most people wouldn't do it. 98% of people are going to stop doing it. The point I'm making is, whatever that thing is that you think you're addicted to, you're probably not addicted to at all. You just lack self-control. Either you lack self-control or you're dealing with something far worse that you just haven't addressed. I used to think I was addicted to a lot of different things, but I wasn't addicted. I was depressed and I was looking for something to make me feel good. You know, and that's what sex did or drugs. It took me away. It was a, it was escapism. It took me away from um, what I was painfully. It took me away from what I was painfully involved in at the time. And millennials, you know, we grew up in a hypersexualized world in a way that we didn't even notice that we, was affecting us when we were younger. Uh, but now, I mean, it's even gotten worse. And in the access to so many things, um, even if we're just talking about sex, it's strictly it's so different now, right? Let me tell you how different it is. I was on YouTube one time watching music videos, right? And you know, I'm reminiscing. So I went back and I'm listening to like, I'm watching like Pharrell. Um, Beautiful. I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. At the Pharrell going, you know, I'm, a, I'm a shout out to Pharrell. I'm a huge fan. You know what I'm saying? Um, he got he had all the bangers, right? So I'm on all that, right? And I'm noticing, like, yo, these women were fully clothed. It almost was like, you know, back then we was looking at it like, yo, it's well, I say I won't say we. I was like, yo, them girls bad, all that. You know what I'm saying? But the level of censorship that's gone now, like, yo. These videos were low key, so innocent. Like the most you saw was a girl belly button. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a whole lot of implants everywhere. Like it, it was none of that. Twerking, none of that. It wasn't none of that. For real, for real. But now, yo, just the average music video. At bare minimum, you gonna see them joints on there with the yams out, caked up by the pound. You gonna see it. Point being, millennials, we grew up in a hypersexual world, which almost makes, by biblical standards, sexual purity almost impossible. So let's get into the takeaway. I have to carry myself a certain way. I have to shut myself off to certain things. I got to punish myself in certain times. I got to put myself in timeout. And yes, I do have them thoughts like, yo, this is whack. Why I can't do X, Y, Z? Why I can't be around X, Y, Z? But it's like, yo, at the same time, you shouldn't let nothing separate you from the love of God, right? Don't think you're too addicted to something to where God can't reach you or that you should have no relationship with God, right? Nine times out of 10, you're not addicted. You lack self-control. You're not addicted to that vice. You're depressed. So you run to that vice. And it's a lot easier to run to that vice than to wait on God to get you out that situation. Or you're running from the fact that God done told you he's not getting you out of that situation. You got to change first and you're fighting that change. But you're not addicted. Don't say that. Don't put that weight on yourself. You're not addicted. Most of the time, you just lack self-control. You're throwing a pity party, whatever the case may be. But you're not addicted. Stop saying that. We got to grow up together. That's what the body is all about. I'm here. We all here. Grow up in God. It's hard, but it's necessary, yo. Come on. It's so necessary. You got this. I believe in you. Let's pray this thing out. God, thank you so much for blessing our time. We hope that what you spoke to us today is fruitful and beneficial for our lives. Not so we can get, 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 but so we can give, give, give. We want to give thanks to you. We want to tell others about you, share the good news about you, 
and turn this world into the place that you will have it to be. We want your kingdom here on earth, and we thank you so, so much for valuing us enough to give us the opportunity to partner with you to bring it here. That's what it's all about. We love you. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Look, thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for taking out the time. Look, we're here. Let's get it. Let's go up. Peace out. Tea.